The Germans destroyed his life, too. It was at the Battle of the Marne that Freddy finally picked up the trail of the regiment commanded by Baron von Dorf. Alright, we're Freddy now. Alright. What factor do we have here? Americans, Americans in the French Army. 128 Americans enrolled in the French Army from the start of the conflict, mostly in Paris, including the poet Alan Seeger. The majority joined the Foreign Legion and took battle and took part in the Battle of the Mer. Others joined the Air Force, which later became the Lafayette Squadron. 24 gave their lives for France, including Alan Seeger. The media attention they received in the United States played a decisive role in their own country's decision to join the war three years later. Let's not read the other stuff till we change screens. Agreed. Ooh! Where'd it go? Oh, French forces. Gotta blow up a bridge. We need dynamite. Go, go! They need dynamite to blow Oh, they're actually shooting now, too. I don't think there's any. Maybe I just climb over it? I very seriously doubt that. Oh. There you go. You're an engineer. Nice. Alright. Oh god. Don't even joke. Don't even joke about Freddy dying, man. Um, okay. Uh, space or D? Okay. Okay, he just punches oh, shit. Oh god, he's a badass. Emile and Marie. Okay. Well, you're Freddy, so. Um, that's one we've already oh, seen. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah. You, Emile, and Marie. Are right. We spent another, yet another day walking. We heard cannon fire the, for the first time today. I don't think. I don't want to have to kill. I must stop thinking about it and get some sleep. That letter gave me such a fright. Poor daddy, he's been wounded and taken prisoner by the Germans. I don't know if he's seriously injured and if he's being well taken care of. I've been told prisoners are allowed to receive letters. I shall write to them tomorrow. Yeah, if the war was being fought for glory, then they would have tried... If I remember correctly, they did try to keep it more honorable in, uh, in several cases. So yeah, prisoners were a little better treated. At least better than, you know, World War II prisoners. Yeah. Well, it's because Germans were douchebags. Yeah. Not yet, anyway. Aw, oh, shit. I totally did not do that. Oh, oh god! <laughs> whoa, 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 I see a collectible. I think you need to aim it for the cart, man. <laughs> I see a collectible. Oh, there's a collectible there? Oh, uh, I missed one. Oh shit, go we are going back. Go back, go backward then, yeah. We are going back. You don't think they wouldn't have put a collectible in that charge, would they? Oh my god, oh, really? Okay. okay, right there, wow. No, they don't have, no, I wasn't able to interact with anything during the charge, it was just dodging. I figured, I, I figured that would be a real dick move to like, put collectible finding in that moment. No, no, On, on no. so many levels, that would have been such a dick move. Alright, let's go look at our trinkets here. Okay. French French created in 1881 in the wake of the French defeat against the Prussians in 1870-1871, the French identification tag indicated a soldier's name and surname, the year of his conscription, his place of birth and ID number. Dog tags were used to identify corpses on the battlefield in an attempt to overcome the problem of soldiers missing in action and unidentified bodies. Right, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers. Yep. Yeah. Go button for the French French Army's Horizon blue gray coat and gold had gold buttons. The buttons do not, or not to mention they just painted red trousers, proved problematic on the battlefield as they shot in the sun, making soldiers easy to spot by the enemy. Making, you know, sneak attacks almost impossible during the day. It's unfortunate because the French have really good uniforms. Try aiming right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right there. There you go. 
get another grenade just in case. Alright. Engineering this shit. Right, because they need you as an engineer, they need you to get to the dynamite at the bridge and blow it. Wait, are we trying to get across the bridge? Like, space bar, space bar. Wait, 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 wait. go back, go back to the, the bridge. No, go back to the grave. Go back to the grave. Just check the grave just in case. I did. I'm mashing space ball wherever I go, so. Okay. There's a dead German soldier. And another. And some more. We're pushing him back. Alright. Oh my! Don't step on that bridge. Oh god! Oh, that poor soldier, man. Jeez. Close. Very close. Just a little higher. <gasps> Damn it. I need to wow. Get closer. Yeah. Without getting my ass shot off. Right there, right there. Now back up. Back up. Yeah. And then. Go, 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 go! Oh, it's a good thing those guns do have pretty large reload times. Oh, it's sneak attack time. Get down there and beat the crap out of him. Bam! Make sure. All right. No. 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 You need to go. You need, oh, okay, you're getting the grenade. Okay. My grenade. <laughs> Come on, Tan. I mean. Super cheap. <laughs> shiny. 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 It's a map. It's a map, it's a map, it's a map, it's a map. HQ. Soldiers, Soldiers. Not shot and have to pick their way through the countryside. The only tools they had were compass and an HQ. Orienting or orienteering duties were the reserve of officers. Okay. So if the officer died, you had no fucking clue where you were. Ah, I see. <laughs> All right, blow the bridge. Okay, cause yeah, that river's too low. That river's pretty low at the moment. Yeah, check, check at the other end just to make sure. Damn. Yeah. Well, I can't, yeah go into the, I can't go into the river. Did you see another severed cable? Well, I didn't know if you. I didn't know if you could or not. No. Okay. That would make sense now that I think about it, because that river is low enough that they can cross it, but uh, blowing and blowing the bridge won't do ma major harm to their advance. In fact, it'll help more. Oh, sound sounded off there. Okay. Little, yeah. Battle of the Marne. Drawn up long before the war, the von Schleifen plan aimed at swiftly overrunning France via Belgium and northern France. After the August debacle on September 6, French troops turned to face German troops in the decisive Battle of the Marne and prevented the capture of Paris. The battle was the first time Franco-British forces managed to halt the German advance and thwart the main German battle plan. The front retreated northwards and stabilized in December when trench war warfare began in earnest. And the and the worst parts of the war began. The meat grinder part. Yeah. Okay. Try climbing. Try. Climbing. Wait, I want to see if there's anything hidden back here. No. No. Just double checking. 
Where did the style hand grenades come from? Potato mashers. Where did those come from? Don't care, using it. Okay, of course I use this one. Okay, so you're probably aiming for those that TNT down there. Good shot! <laughs> I try. Bam. Okay. What the <laughs> What? Because that's okay. totally That's totally how physics works. That's defined. <laughs> yeah, that's defined physics. <laughs> German cartridges. German uh, 792 millimeter Mauser cartridges. The diameter of German gun ammunition is standard leather used in the uh, light machine Ma uh, machine gewehr. Or heavy schwer machine gewehr. Uh, machine gewehr. The same diameter is used in the standard German army uh, issue car 90 98k rifle. Only, only the C96 pistol used by officers was of smaller caliber, 763. So basically, it's it's so that they have a pretty much as it says a standardized ammunition, so that you're not like, okay, I ran out of ammo. Well, now I'm fucked because I can't find any. No, it's everywhere. Look at your dead. Look at your dead comrades. They have ammo. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that was pretty smart on the German side. My German pronunciation is stuff a little rusty. I mean, it's difficult to pronounce it to begin with. Oh, interesting. Come on, come on, break it. Get down there fast. Go, 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 go. Ready. Okay. Throw it up top. Yeah, there you go. And then grab another grenade, because you're probably going to have to do two. Oh, I like how there's one soldier right there shooting at it. Do you see that? Yeah. French soldier. That. He's still alive. That's awesome. So someone got through. <laughs> and that one guy's like, fuck that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go check to see if there was anything on this. Yeah. Because action scenes like that make me... It makes you wonder. Yeah. yeah. Nothing around here. Nothing around here. Alright, we're good. Yeah. Run, Freddy, run! Oh, oh we missed flag. one. Flags. Flags were powerful symbols for each unit. Once captured, became trophies. When overrun, soldiers took the time to hide or bury them before being taken prisoner. With the arrival of trench warfare, flags disappeared from the battlefield and only made an appearance at military ceremonies away from the front. And we apparently missed this, machine guns. Great Wars demonstrated technical prowess of the age, symbolized by the machine gun. World War I devices could now shoot up to 200 bullets before requiring cooling and were perfectly integrated into infantry attacks. German machine gun uh, guns deployment in the front line gave them vast superiority to start the contact. Hell yeah, they did. They just gunned down everything. Put two or three machine guns facing a front charge, and the front charge just disintegrates. Bring my red pants. Bam! Bloody smash! Yeah, careful. Oh, there's the Baron. Have metal on that chest? <laughs> and he's running, coward. Probably didn't. On an airship, of course. Yeah, we didn't run the don't, 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 yeah. Okay, go, 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 go. go, go, go. <laughs> Oh god, artillery! Oh god, artillery! They're showing us now. What's left on the... What's left for items? Some kind uh, of postage stamp and a letter of some sort. Yeah. They probably are both here. Throw it up above him. Oh, I see the posted. I see the stamp. 
Oh yeah, there it is, glowing. Careful of that guy, don't just climb up there. No, go, go to the back, go, go left. You're not gonna throw it that way, go left, left. All the way to the end. You should be able to throw it through that little crack there. Now. Oh, shit. Well, he's running away, so that's actually a good thing. Careful, careful. No, 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 no. Down. Oh. Okay. I think the brick probably would have been wiser. Yeah. Well, I don't even... Oh, I still have my stick grenade. Good checkpoint. That's a good checkpoint. That is a Dan, good checkpoint. Where, where are you going? Damn it. <laughs> Thought it'd bounce off his head. Hey, at least lower the ladder for me. Yeah. That soldier's just like you, bitch. No, 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 too far. Too far. Well, I'll try climbing the ladder, Adam, but I don't think you're gonna make it. Damn it. Stop. Yeah. Here. You need to you need to aim up more so that it lands behind the soldier. Or that, yeah, that'll work too. In, in the Boom! Bam! Nice. Welcome, Ponch. Alright, postage stamp indeed. Oh, embroidery. Oh, okay. Household, Household linen was precious and often customized with embroidered initials. Contrary to received ideas, embroidery was not exclusively female pursuit, and many POWs embroidered during captivity. Because what the hell else were they gonna do? Right. Which, I mean, that's still like a legitimate thing. POWs did it, so men enjoyed it, but what else were they gonna do in captivity? Hit the trap door, but yeah. Eh. Oh, oh, the bell! Nice. Stuck and saved by the bell. It's all right, because I'm saved by the bell. Go, Freddy, go, Freddy, go, Freddy. Oh my god, hit oh. the roof. Oh, yes, because he's just sitting there on that beam. <laughs> So. <laughs> Just quickly punch him. <laughs> and then take the flag. Yeah, I know, but I want to find out where that last Oh, yeah, yeah. Bam! Rip wow. it in half. He ain't that taking takes, no trophy. That takes some strength to rip that a flag. <laughs> It does, especially in the angle he was ripping Thanks it, he was to just support like straight ripping British it forces. in half. The German uh, well, plan failed. The front line uh, moved well. back to the north, and with the arrival of winter, froze. Soldiers holed up amid a vast labyrinth of trenches and tunnels that would become the indelible image of the Great War. <sighs> Karl's regiment retreated to the outskirts of Neuve Chapelle. The same camp where Emile was being held prisoner. Oh, those are soldiers on the ground charging yep. the trenches. Yep. And there's Emile. Still alive. Where where he's apparently serving soup. 
Yep. <laughs> and the Baron's like daintily yeah. drinking his wine. <laughs> Bring some Franks to us. Large tent and we can go and camp and reach the power. Puppy. Enter Hunk Mallet. I wonder if that's the dog. You remember Dan? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah, for the for those that don't know, one of the things about this game is uh, one of the major characters is actually a dog that ties together or helps tie together the four characters of this game. Yeah. Six million prisoners of war. Jesus. Between 1914 and 1918, over 6 million men were taken prisoner, including 1.2 million German and 200,000 British troops. Despite the 1907 uh, Hague Convention and the efforts of the International Red Cross, prison conditions and forced labor proved harsh and conscripts, and hundreds of thousands never made it home. Jeez. Died via being prisoners. That, that sucks. Ah, <laughs> Those are some fantastic mustaches. <laughs> and I just got to say. <laughs> Alright, what's the first object we're looking for here? Something square. A square. Which... Okay, never mind. Huh. There it is. There it is. There it is. A picture. Oh, it's a picture of his daughter. Oh photo frame. Even though photography was not widespread, many soldiers had their photos taken before setting out for war. Professional prints were developed on photo paper and applied to a hard backing to prevent tearing. Some photos were directly printed as postcards, especially group conscript photos. Letters. Letters remained the only real means of communication with the outside world. Radios and telephones were only used for military ends. All soldiers wrote to their loved ones back home. As war correspondence was free of charge, this created logistical and financial problems. Ten billion letters and postcards were sent to and from the front during the war. The early war postal system was chaotic, but then the front was then separated into sectors, each with its own postcode. The visit from the military postmaster was eagerly awaited. restoration on those photos. Yeah, yeah, that is really good restoration. So you need you need water, then the fire, then the frank and you'll and then you'll get the franks. So you need to bring the um you need to bring the, the, the cauldron over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Up. Yeah, I know. Just, your microphone decided to pick up the uh, uh, fan all of a sudden. Dearest Papa, we live in a climate of uncertainty. Germans use the people of Saint Mien as human shields against the French bombings. I hope the Germans treat you well and that you. <laughs> grandson sent you kisses. I sent you a picture of him. All my love. Please write soon. Taking away all their food.
Dan Cool Yes, I know you want your friends Jesus <laughs> Then just bring the whole cauldron out for him Mm. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Time to run. Yeah. 